Hi, students. Okay, we are going to take a look at one of my favorite tools for studying vocabulary words, and that is studystack.com. Of course, you know I love vocabulary cards, and I swear that they make all the difference in learning vocabulary. All of that repetition, all of that drilling really will help move those words from your working memory, where you're really stressing your brain to think about things, to your long-term memory, where it starts to, where the words start to come up naturally. So let's go ahead and take a look at this really cool tool that can go with you anywhere. You can log on to it from a computer and you can even get it in and out. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here it is. This is studystack.com. If you come out here, you'll see that the email address or the um, website address is right here, www.studystack.com. Of course, it makes this really easy. If you've never been out here before, press sign up and you can go ahead and enter in your email address and a password, or you can use your Facebook to log in. I've already logged in, of course, so I'm just going to go ahead and log myself in here. It's really easy to go ahead and start creating a new set of electronic note cards. So I'm going to go ahead and press this green button to create a new stack. I'm going to call my set of note cards. Let's see, I'll work this with vocabulary three and I'm going to call them my chapter one note cards. Of course, you could put anything you want in the description. For the type of note cards that we're going to use, you have all sorts of options. You can really define them however you want, but they are vocabulary note cards. So I'm going to pick term and definition. Term means we put the word on one side of the card and the definition on the other. I'm going to allow it to continue to um, fill in, uh, do fill in the blank clues for the activities, but I'm going to uncheck these two. You'll see that that changed the category to private, which is what I'd like. I really don't want other people to um, be able to edit my note cards. That means change my note cards. And I really have no intention of sharing these note cards with anybody else. I'd like to keep them for myself. So I uncheck those. Of course, if you'd like to share your note cards, you certainly can. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes to make it a stack. Now I'm going to come over to the next slide here, which is data, the next tab. And here in the data, this is where I can start filling in some information. You remember that word data, right? That comes up pretty soon in vocab three. But let's take a look at our first word in chapter one and that is the word analyze. And to analyze means to think about something carefully. And I'm also going to go ahead and note the, the part of speech here for me because again, we've talked about parts of speech being really important and anywhere I can note that and practice with it, I think that's a good thing. You can continue to add more words. Let's say your next word is assist. And of course, that means to help. I'm going to now note that that is a verb as well. And you can continue to add words. Of course, you're not limited to just the seven words here. You can continue to add blank rows right down here at the bottom. See that? Um, and you can do all kinds of things. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to save those changes and make that into a stack. And there are some other really cool things that you can do. Once you have all of your words here, you can start to play some games and use these cards as a review. So I want to show you, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Let me go back to my dashboard up here at the top. And you see I already have a stack created. This is for vocab four in chapter one. Let's go ahead and take a look at my stack here. I'm going to press restart down here at the bottom and it will flip up my first card. You see how it looks exactly like a note card? That's pretty cool, right? So I see my first word. Now, here's another really neat option. I can click this box right up here and it will speak the word for me and you can have it say it slower or faster. And um, you can use that to listen as an auditory component to studying vocabulary as well. And let's say, okay, I see the word capacity, and I'm thinking to myself what the definition is. And you know what? This is one of my harder words. 
I really don't know what the definition is. I'm going to click on the card. And as long as you have click speak, it will read for you what you have in your card. You can always click, you can always unclick the box and just read it. And let's say I don't know it. I can come down here and click don't know and file the card away to don't know. Here's my next word, complex. What does complex mean? Oh, now this one I'm more familiar with. This one means it's, it's kind of hard. It has a lot of parts. It's intricate. Yep, there it is. I am correct. So I'm going to take this card and I'm going to click no and file it under here on my no section. Of course, I can also play a game with myself and have it show the definition first by clicking this box here. And then I'm trying to guess the vocabulary word. So you're working with them in reverse. Another thing that you can do is you can restart, go back to the beginning. You can shuffle all the cards around so that way it's not in the same order. And here's another thing that's really important. Of course, you can always fix something if you have um, an error or you want to add more information. So that's good. You don't have to start all over and make a new stack. You can just fix the card right as you are working. And take a look at all these fun games that you can use with your vocabulary cards. I'll just show you a quick one, I'll show you crossword, where it will actually give you the definitions and you go ahead and fill in the answers and just kind of play along and it drills you. And if you're not quite sure, you can just have it show all the answers. It will show you, um, show you some things. Now, of course, it does also do fill in the blanks and uh, you'll have to just experiment with it until you get it just to your liking. So I hope that this is a really fun way for you to learn vocabulary and to keep working with your words. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, I'm right here to help. Take care. Go on and go study vocab.